Morning. Morning. It's the 17th of February 2024 and we're at the camping, caravan and motorhome show in the NEC. Wrong. You got it the wrong the way. Caravan around. camping. You <laughs> said to me, you said to me camping and caravanning on purpose. <laughs> anyway, we'll leave that one in because this is take two. You might see some outtakes at the end, you know. Yeah. I got the wrong year for some it's reason. It's Saturday. We're in a little bit early. Sorry, we're on the press passes. Please shoot us in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> but fun thing, look. But you don't out, you don't get if you don't ask. We're outside the water sports centre, so that should be interesting later, although I think it's a different kind of water sports than we're usually into. Look at her face <laughs> again. You don't come here for factual content. So yeah, we're but gonna you do come here for him saying something and it goes completely over. Goes my over. Head. <laughs> if it goes over your head, we've done the water sports wrong. Anyway, we are going to show you around the show our take on it. There are going to be plenty of other YouTube channels that have done informative and better. somewhat better <laughs> reviews. But you know us by now if you follow the channel. We just show you what we do. And we do it our way. Usually out of tune, but we do it our way. <laughs> so, Always out of tune. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a few vans we want to look at for no other reason than we're interested, we're still interested, even though we've got no chance of selling ours or changing ours again, we're loving we've got it. Every chance of selling it. <laughs> no, okay. No, not wanting to sell it. Exactly. <laughs> That's the difference. So yeah, we're just gonna show you our generic day around the show. Um, there are a few vans that we want to see. There's one that I'm gonna do a separate review on that we've organized with the, uh, the guys to actually have a look around and do a separate review. So you'll see that later on in the month. Um, Heather did come to the show yesterday on her own, just to have a scope round. I may use some of her footage, but I'm not I'm, so. <laughs> because it goes like this. <laughs> and I put my hand in front of yeah. the camera. <laughs> oh, it's here. It's here. Yeah, she, she does that a lot. <laughs> we'll pick you up in a bit. Right. So this is hall five. Want to have a good look round this one? This is the one with the camper vans in which obviously we're mostly interested in. We will show you the rest of the show, but basically in this one is where your majority of camper vans are and a few accessories and stuff like that, along with the camping and caravanning club. These ones are a bit funky, aren't they? This is a company called Cactus and they're obviously going for the roughy tufty off-road type of market. Doesn't suit everybody. For someone like me who loves Land Rovers and has had lots of Land Rovers. That looks cool, but I'm sure the price list of from 142,500 makes it look less cool. However, there is a market for everybody and they do look nice. I'm not knocking them. Certainly stand out in one of them, wouldn't you? I think this market's opening up now, the more sport based ruggedy type of vans they're certainly going more away from your standard van to a degree maybe to get younger people in i don't know although how people could afford such prices are beyond me but there you go you've obviously got your standard manufacturers here like your wild axes and stuff like that uh, this show for me is only a couple what, four months away from when we were here in October I guess it's not it's not that long so there's not going to be a great deal of new stock they tend to you know what's the word I'm looking for release the new models I guess later in the year at the big motorhome show it's definitely more this time of year based on the camping side and stuff and, and the recreation for this show more than the camper vans here's another one based on a man or a crafter same sort of body this is the crafter again the more rugged looking they do look nice got to give you that but again eye watering prices eye watering but yeah we're seeing a lot more of the crafters and the man's coming out simply I suppose because of the availability versus the uh, Fiat's and stuff like that as with the Fords you know perfectly timed there but we've seen a lot more Ford camper vans although the Fords tend to be a bit narrow for a camper van 
um, certainly looking good we have got Vantage here as well again same as with the October show we had a good look around the Vantage I might have a look around later but we really are just having a wander around at the moment yeah at Hillside you're seeing again a lot more of the this is a man which is obviously exactly the same as the crafter to be honest but yeah quite like them but I don't like the prices <laughs> although this one says 75695 that's not terrible although when you look at the other sticker it says 87524 obviously with the options on 83 so that's not terrible you know and the best thing about this one of course you could pretend you're in the RAC that's a roughy tufty looking thing as well isn't it is it a crafter or is it a sprinter looks like it's a Mercedes to me yeah Mercedes sprinter it's a high up thing it's a nice fan though we do like that But yeah, it certainly seems to be a hell of a lot of these man um, and VW base vans coming through. You know, we do love a black van on the channel. <laughs> History tells you that anyway. Here's another one on a Mercedes Sprinter. That's a beast and a half, isn't it? That has got to be well over seven metres long. Looking good though. Very nice. If you watched our recent question and answer video, Alex from TTX CLA did ask me, would you ever fit a roof box on your Allegro? Can you imagine? A roof tent. Roof tent, roof box, roof bunk even. <laughs> 1795. And that one's a, a tent box, that one. There you go. <laughs> so there you go, Alex. Could you see that on top of the Allegro? Picture of the Allegro for you now to visualise that. <laughs> oh this one would work better. Look it's only on a Fiat Panda. That Fiat Panda is probably still bigger than my Allegro. But there you go. Yeah that's cool though. Isn't it cool? I do like that. Although my theory of sleeping in anything that you can get into with a Stanley knife still holds true. You wouldn't get me in one of them still in hall five and you can see there's obviously as i say a lot of accessories and clothing there's even car dealerships subaru are here so it's a decent little show to come to but i've got to say i do prefer the october one although the october one is massive compared to this obviously this is really the season starter i guess isn't it so we're at the robita roberta stand these are a company from Slovenia and Heather organised yesterday that I can do a quick review of that van there so we're just hanging around waiting for them to come so the main doors have opened now we've made our way into hall one we're just going to go through all five halls from the beginning just seeing what we see um, and we will then show you there is an A-class somewhere in here that Heather wants to show me that she filmed yesterday uh, which is just about the right size for her for our retirement plans and a layout she quite likes but we'll have a quick look around here there are a few more camper vans <laughs> in here Rapido is there we'll have a look in here see what we can see okay we are in the itinio another one that heather quite likes this is even shorter 6.6 .6 meters did you yeah. say it's a, it's a cj 660 cj 660 6.61 meters itinio um it's got one of them swing out bathrooms has got a pedestal toilet though that might put you off but decent sized shower room got a fridge and a little oven in case you are new to the channel and wonder why we're looking at A-classes it's only really to scratch an itch when we retire Heather wants to travel the continent in something a bit bigger than a van conversion 
but doesn't want a massive a class under seven meters is her her you know plan at the moment well, it's a very nice fan um, you've got your burners and a little sink plenty of storage I'm not going to do a van review on this we're really just looking around but it's a nice enough fan I like that nice enough price nice enough price yeah it's not too dear I think they're a French company I believe there you go I'll quickly show you the outside of this one yeah it's got a decent garage in the back of it um, as I say can't really show you a great deal the way it's hemmed in it's a nice looking van though I'll try and show you from the other side when we walk past it maybe although you get a good idea from that picture there you go I can roughly show you it it's hemmed in well but there it is actually not a bad length that actually it doesn't look too short but it, it's not too long either is it so you liked that Itinio then yes I did only um, narrow body as well for one of them 2.19 yeah. did she say yeah. wide so your standard one's 2.35 so it's only about what 10 centimeters wider 10 to 12 centimeters wider than actual panel van that there's, one like I said there's a few um, a-class builders that are going to the narrow yeah as there are with motorhomes well yeah but yeah certainly like that again it's way too early to be looking at stuff like that but it's always nice to have in the back of your mind that there are things out there that you fancy mm -hmm. So we're still in Hall 1, yep. as I say lots of tents and camper vans here and caravans in this one, definitely more geared towards the outdoorsy side, you know, camping side. So we're just going to have a quick look at this now, here she is look, she loves this, <laughs> uh, as I say she filmed this on her own yesterday. So. I'll stick some of that footage in if it's usable. Knaus, Knaus, however you say it. Live eye. And the bit that attracted me to it, it's a, it's a 650 meg 2024 model. And the bit that attracted me to it is it's less than seven meters. Um, it's got a good size garage with lots and lots of spot storage space. Um, in there and then if we go inside um, we're on the Fiat chassis this one's an auto um, it's still obviously with it being an A-class it's got the drop-down bed um, over the top of the cab you have to knock the seats down I like the look of these um, uh, these seats I do like the look of these seats got a, a nice diner area an area for you to put your tally look right what have we got in here for the bathroom right okay so it's a bench seat and it's also got one of these units where it makes the bathroom big the timbre door, so you're up a nice wet room there. Hello, <laughs> very nice. Um, yes, we like this, and we've got a big fridge here, very big fridge here, and the beds. And obviously, there must be yeah there's a way of pulling that out so that you can make it bigger if you want to but to be perfectly honest poppy space <laughs> I'm only joking um, yeah very nice um, it has a duplex oven um, And I'm guessing three, yep, yeah, three gas burner colleges. I do this all the time, I forget where I'm supposed to be. Um, 
yes I like this I like this layout right in hall two we have a few dealers not the kind of dealers that some of you are used to mind <laughs> anybody want an eighth I know a man who knows a man <laughs> you want to buy an Henry I'll go this way she doesn't appreciate my humor so yeah hall two a lot more dealers lots of caravans at this show and also you have got all your accessories just going past the Duvalets not a lot of stuff to interest us in here to be fair there's a lot of caravans not gonna lie I'm gonna miss me free bacon sandwich from Brownells you know you ain't packed one of you what are you eating? Love arts now for us to get you some. Oh, you don't love me enough. You didn't want any. I don't you want, want any sweets, I'm on a diet. Liquid lunch. Right, just coming into hall three now. Thinned out a bit in here, there's a lot more room in this one. Bit of a bigger hall. I can see the sign teasing me now, look basically saying stay away exiles you're not welcome anymore go get your bacon somewhere I'm else nothing. she's saying nothing i'm still hopeful she's going to buy me a bacon sandwich I'm not, buying you one. I'm not buying you one here we go then the old dealership and there we are a lovely cv20 still got to admit they're a good looking van in black but yeah I'm still loving our new van more always like uh, walking through the auto sleepers and there's the uh, Warwick XL still love the Warwick XL you know it's very very busy though now we've had literally half an hour sit down and a drink and uh, yeah it's filled up massively so what hall are we in now this is what hall four we're coming into hall four yes and for those a little bit more radical people we're considering joining <laughs> oh yeah this is why heather was into water sports earlier anyway yeah this is where all the um boats come from bullseye to die if you ever remember Bullseye, everybody won a speedboat and they were based in the Midlands. Uh, this one is definitely more tents and awnings and camping related in Hall 4. But what people forget is how much room they still take up. That's right, yeah. Um, I think what we're finding now, even with the new van, is we've got the two awnings plus the little pop-up tent. And I can't, us, I can't see us using the awning, to be honest. We don't, two. We've got the blue one and the little, oh. the little one. We've got two awnings, a tent, and the little storage tent. Oh. And I can't see us really. We don't stay still long enough to practically bother putting an awning up. So there's a lot of accessories in here as well. We've left her at home. <laughs> Heather's just trying a new chair. She wants a smaller chair for the van. Oh, I thought I was going to earn 250 quid then on you've, you've been framed. framed sadly it does recline a little bit then does it is that what it is or it's no, just I think it just it's just comfortable yeah you might have sold two of these here now awesome. if the boss likes something you usually get it and there you go she can't come anywhere without spending money I wanted the dinosaur one apparently I've got a fat arse not bad what was that? Two for 70 quid at the show. Um, That's all right, not too bad. Okay, I've taken over the camera for one reason and one reason only. Old pack horse Joe. <laughs> I always seem to be the buckaroo, don't I, when we go anywhere? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll carry mine, I will, I'll carry Well, mine. I said I would carry it, and you, you said... You said, don't bother, you'll carry them. Yeah, that's the thing right. is, I'm being, I'm you, being you're now, you're now perfectly, um, balanced. perfectly balanced, you see. That's so, right. So, yeah, so we, we bought two smaller chairs. Um, 
that we can use more often. Yeah. I mean, that, them other chairs are lovely. Um, they take up a lot of room. But they do take up a lot of room, and it, it, it sort of seems like a funny thing to say that we've got a bigger van and we've got the room to actually get them in there now. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't got the room. What we're trying to do is use the boot less for stuff that we get out all the time yeah. because of the bikes and the wrap. So these will fit inside the van. I think that's the that's the thing. Oh, okay, right, okay. That, um, that's the reason plus, behind it. I'm not going to lie. I am slightly worried about the payload on this van. We are thinking of upplating. Yeah, we're we're in the very early stages of research on that one. Yeah. Right. Uh, Phew. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like that, we're back at the car. Um, after we got the chairs, did a bit more wandering round. It's just really, really busy today. Um, like I say, it's Saturday. Saturday, half term Saturday, I guess as well, and it's really, really hot in there. Um, I don't think it's as busy as it was last year. Do you not? I can't remember. But either way, um, luckily, because we got over an hour first thing this morning before the show opened, we got to see quite a few bits. And in fairness, when you're not looking to buy anything, sort of looking in vans, you're going, eh, don't really need to look in this. It was nice seeing a couple of A-classes, um, you know, just purely for future wasn't it really to see what's about but obviously mm -hmm. in five years time when we're going to be looking or so who knows what we'll be looking at no. but uh yeah two weary travelers going back home now to see what a crazy dog's done <laughs> <laughs> don't even want to know um and looking forward to next weekend we've got a campsite booked for next weekend have we we have yeah you booked it <laughs> it's an old favorite um, we're just going to return to a site that we've been to before. The problem is this time of year, as you know, we're still in February at the minute. A lot of sites aren't open or a lot of sites are just too wet and boggy. Um, but we're going on a caravan, camping and caravanning club site mm -hmm. with hard standing and electric. And yeah, we've been a couple of times before, but it's just to get away. I'm going stir crazy. This is the third weekend running that we haven't been away in the van. You've been okay with it because you've been watching your rugby, haven't you? Yep. But this weekend is a no rugby weekend. So uh, yeah, we'll see you next week with probably one of the most up-to-date videos we're gonna do because we'll literally have filmed it a few days before. That's how short of content we are. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. I've never known her so quiet. <laughs> no, it's because you're rambling away. <laughs> well, you know, it's nice to get a word in. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye.